Good, Joy. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you. Thank you for doing this. I'm sure it must be both awesome and then also exhausting to have to have people tell you how great you are over and over again. <laughs> I think sitting in this chair for a long time is is it's very wooden. It's very hard. Yeah. I need a cushion, but um, I'm happy to sit here and, and listen to people be nice. <laughs> yeah, there were there were worse things in the world, though. I imagine it's it is interesting in a way to have to feel like you're not having the same conversation over and over again, just as a human being, because that's got to be. <laughs> yeah, but you know, it's varied, and I feel like I'm in control of um, you know the answers to make them not feel like I'm repeating myself all the time. You know, it's not that, you know, who I always feel bad for is like tour guides yeah. or, you know, people who are doing like the open bus tour around a, a city and they are literally saying the same stuff every day. I, but that, that's that, that they have it worse. I think. Yeah. If you turn to the left, you'll see Jamie Dornan's house. So like, <laughs> it's like every day, right. every day. <laughs> it's actually on the right. My eyes. Yeah. yeah. Don't tell people. Yeah. Um, but also it helps that it's, you know, it's this movie and it's, you know, everyone involved were so keen to do it for reasons besides like the other reasons you make a movie, which are great reasons too. like sure. said house, you know, it makes it easier to want to be like, well, yeah, tell us how much you like it, but also why? Because everyone's going to find a different thing here. Yeah, exactly. You know, and this, 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 I mean, this really did feel like a movie where, yeah, no, where no one's there for the check, you know, we're there because of this incredibly privileged group of people that have Ken's brought together and Ken himself obviously at the helm of it all and a story that means so much to all of us obviously to Ken it's you know very much based on his um his own life and you know we've got a cast outside of Judy Dench who are all from that island who are all massively affected by what began in 1969 and lasted for 30 years and so uh you know we'll let Judy off for being English and, and let her let her in to play with us and it was just uh you know, I feel it does, it, it, it brings something to it when people are there for those reasons, you know, it does add something, you know, it, it, it's, it is away from the sort of commercial side of things. And it, 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 it's very special. Oh, yeah. Cause you went one, you don't want to let down the guy who was like, this means something to me, but yeah. two, like you said, it's, it's still, it's Kenneth Branagh. Like when he calls before, you know what it's about, part of you is going, well, which Shakespeare is he doing this time? And why me? Right. But also what's lovely about that is like, and by the way, yeah, when he called, I was like, he's clearly got the wrong number or, you know, he, I remember reading the script thinking, how small is this part going to be yeah. <laughs> that he wants me to play? I didn't, you know, and then being really shocked, but um, also for Ken, it's a departure, you know, um, he makes a lot of big budget movies, Ken, yeah. you know, uh, directs a lot of them, uh, is in a lot of them. So uh, for him, it's a real uh, scale down um, uh, and huge, huge huge emphasis on the, on how personal it is and cathartic it obviously was for him to shoot it. Oh, yeah. I mean, he might have seen Endings Beginnings. I love you in that movie. I mean, it's possible that could have done it also. Dude, he has seen that. That was the craziest thing about when I spoke to Ken. I'm thinking, how has he ever seen me act? And then I'm like, maybe, you know, maybe he's seen The Fall, uh, maybe seen private war or something yeah. a little bit more highbrow but Kenneth Branagh has seen every single thing I've ever done like he'd really you know done his homework um and it wasn't even like he'd seen a lot of them just as a fan of yeah. movie and television so it was a very crazy thing because we really got into it like when I first met him and he would said something I'm with this thing I liked you in this I was like you've seen that what yeah. so I think he's definitely seen endings beginnings it's fun when you're like wait why did you see that like I'm glad you did but but <laughs> why did you was were you at home did you go to the movies like i remember there was a thing the movie theater up in lincoln square up in new york we, i was at a press screening and someone had said that they saw i think it was the cohen brothers going to a movie and it just became like what are they going to see and as best we could figure it out is we think it was a transformers movie and we're just like why i mean but like why not i mean yeah. that's as good a question you know it's kind of yeah oh yeah there's there's something too just like Okay, so you really like movies. All right, this gives me, like, also I feel like that's just who you want to work with. Like, even beyond it being a personal story and him being a capable director, to say the least. Like, this means something to him, and he loves film, and that's a plot point in the damn movie. Oh, totally. As I was about to say, that that's 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 evident in the movie. And, you know, Ken is just, he will, he goes to see everything. Like, he's a massive movie head, you know, and he, 
he goes to see stuff as soon as it comes out and you know he talks about it all the time he'd be like at the weekend i went to see this and it's something kind of unexpected but yeah. like he wants to see it all and i love that about him it's a really cool thing oh yeah totally and then just when you talk to him about the role obviously you want to approach it as an actor and then bring whatever you feel is right for the role because you read the script but you know you also know that the director has maybe stronger opinions than he might in a in another film like how do you balance that out and make sure you're not subservient to like a memory but also not going in a weird direction that makes him feel weird yeah i think a lot of he's you know a lot of the credit just lies on him with that like he he, he would never making us feel that we should be subservient to a memory i have to say like he was like very open to fielding questions that, that specific questions that i had about his own father that i thought could be useful to w what i was going to do but usually he would steer me away from that mm -hmm. and get me to trust my own gut my own instincts and uh i prefer to be a more of an instinctual actor anyway so that suited me um but he also trusted and understood that my idea of what was how to portray what was on the page based on the upbringing I had and being from Belfast myself and coming from a long lineage of men from Belfast and would uh, I'd be my instincts would be pretty close to what it was he wanted, you know, and he, he was never he was never like iron fisting me into like dad wouldn't have done that. He just we wasn't he wasn't like that me he wasn't like that with Katrina he wasn't like that with Kieran or Judy or any of us so um that was a lovely freedom that we all had on set oh yeah totally because you have your own memories of whether it's a father or an uncle or just a friend's dad where it may not be exactly the same but in that scene that's what you would be doing if it was a movie that was completely fictionalized so why not follow that and then he's the you know the ultimate arbiter he sits with his editor and, and figures out what works and I mean, yep. it, goddamn, did it work? So, like, at what point do you fe have a good feeling about it? Because you know, sometimes yeah. you can have the opposite and go like, "All right, I wish this was going differently." But when do you know, like, okay, this is going to be maybe better than we thought it would be? Yeah, um, I don't. You know, it, it was very good vibes on set. Yeah. You know, and mate, that's considering like we're in the middle of a pandemic. This is before even talks of a vaccine. This was early, early doors with everything. Uh, a lot of unsettling uncertainty around, um, you know, Ken, I didn't see Ken's face until like Telluride in September, yeah. you know, uh, everyone wear masks, like one department in, on set at each time, like sound, go and do your thing. And then, and then our department, it was very odd, but yeah. we, it was great vibes. You know, we all felt really in tune with each other. Um, we had a lot of fun. I think usually the movies that you have a lot of fun on are the ones that turn out the best because everyone's relaxed and when you're relaxed you work better um so you know i you know i'm also just a clientele you know that, that we're on set with you know you know watching kieran and judy and katrina you know getting to watch them give these performances i'm like well if if anything you know they're de they're going to be people are going to respond i don't know what they're going to think about what i'm doing but they're going to love what they're doing and that's a good thing so um you know and i saw the odd you know not i wasn't privy to the rushes or anything but i'd see the odd thing where ken would show me a shot that of a scene that i'm not in yeah. and it just looked so beautiful that i was like well look at least it's going to look great as long as i don't ruin it you know so it was good it was good vibes and then i, I ken did an early screening for katrina and i um and uh, it'll be quite different to the final cut, I have to say. But you know, we you know it just we we loved it. You know, and it's very rare. I mean, we loved it, but Katrina and I both were like after going, oh my god, like we should find new careers. Yeah. But um, ultimately, people, everyone else seemed to love it. Probably my dog likes it too. Uh, yeah. He's making his Oscar predictions now. Oddly, you're the only one he has not getting nominated, but he's not doing the interview. No, <laughs> um, but no, that is the funny thing of like, you know, you make it and you look around and see people who have Oscars, have been nominated for Oscars, people who like have Emmy, you're like, okay, everyone involved here has like gold and will be further awarded later on. And then, you know, you're not thinking about that. But then, like you said, tell your ride, you hear like, oh, wow, okay. Now it's hard not to hear that stuff. So it, if, whether it happens or not, it must feel good in terms of like validation of like, well, one, I didn't screw it up. And two, people think of me in that light, which means now when I go out for the next thing or the thing after that, I get to, play in that pool as opposed to like okay you like me for x but i really want to do y and now i'm getting those scripts 
Yeah, and like I'd say, like, I'm, I'd be, you know, I'm happy to admit that is that is the case. You know, there's a there has feels like there's been a shift. It, you know, I guess in in um, uh, interpretation of me, maybe um, with in, particularly in, in the press, <laughs> actually, um, especially from my dog, apparently. <laughs> Uh, am I in this live yet? Yeah. Um, so, you know, that, six, that, yeah. that is a tangible thing. And I guess the first time that felt tangible was probably Telluride. It was yeah. the first time we, show, we, we showed it. And Ken's been down this road many times before uh, with various things in the last 30 years. Um, literally, I think Hamlet was 1980. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's a cool, cool thing to sense that and pick up on that. And, and um, I, I probably oh. wouldn't have indication. I think that's a bit dangerous to call it that for 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 me to yeah. call it, like you can call it that if you want. But like, you know, you know, it's just it's just nice. You've been putting the work in. You've been grafting. You've been doing stuff you want to do. You've been given that opportunity because you were in movies that made one point four billion dollars, and you get they get these opportunities. Luckily, off the back of that, that, that come and and you try to make the most of them. And then so to get to a point where people are saying nice things about you, yeah, it's it's great. But you can't get carried away with it. But um. It's definitely something to build on, and you know, I, I feel like I've way more to prove in my in my career. It's it's the fun like other side of the coin where we already have the experience of okay, I was in something that made a lot of money, and I mm -hmm. didn't like you know immediately go out and buy a you know bindle of cocaine and get arrested. So like I know I can handle that. What's the other side of the coin where it's okay? I have to shake everybody's hand and I have to go to all these things. Obviously, it's different this year, but like sure. it's a whole other world. Like it's been satirized in in movies. It's so like vivid a world so now I, I imagine even you know whatever comes of it the next wave of projects and just like what you want to do it's easy to go like okay i know i can do this i know i can do this what don't i know i can do because i'm two for two already like let's let's get crazy yeah i think it's my, well, my approach is kind of like that anyway to like you know jobs is like keep mixing it up keep yeah. doing that frightens you and, and, and challenges you you know and i i my whole life never ran away from a challenge i really enjoy a challenge and um i will continue to do that and, and maybe my challenges will be more uh enticing uh after all this than than even they were six months ago maybe i don't know but um I, i'll just try to you know try to keep proving myself and proving other people but this has been a good step <laughs> oh, yeah. no it's going well so far but uh yeah. I, I really appreciate you doing this because I love the film. It's like being hugged for 90 minutes. And that's, it's just not something you get that often. I've also, I've seen it twice. And when you see 300 movies a year, you don't see things twice. Yeah, it's right. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a value judgment where you're just like, I, I can't do that again. But I was, I was out of town with my girlfriend. I was like, you haven't seen this. We saw it in a random theater in like Florida and it's still it. played, which, love it. what else can, what else can you ask for? It's universal and specific in the best way. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Love to hear awesome. that. Well, thank you so much for doing this. And despite my dog, I do have you predicted for an Oscar nomination, which whether it happens or not, like, you know, you get to be in the conversation. And, you know, I'm sure when you're starting out, it's just something that nobody thinks is realistic because how can it be? Of course, it's just it's like another dimension of craziness that you don't think you'll ever penetrate. But sure. I haven't yet, so <laughs> but I'll show you what's happened up to this point. Just get texts from Judy Dench the whole time, being like, "You're not there yet, kid." <laughs> yeah, no, she's she's too nice for that. Yeah, it's too big. What a missed opportunity, though. If anyone could be like, <laughs> you know, just casually like take a picture <laughs> and be like, "Look what I've got! Look what I just stumbled upon in my bathroom." Yeah, I don't know where she keeps hers. You no know, one ever. Yeah, everyone always like puts them off to the side. I want one person to just do zooms and have them in the background and be like, "Yeah." No, well, I don't leave the house well, with it. Some people do that. I, I've seen a bit of that going on. Yeah, but that's also, you. it tells you something you don't want to know about some people. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Eddie Redmayne keeps his on his piano. I always think yeah. that's quite cool. I mean, I always, I always like pick it up and throw it around every time I'm there. Yeah, he just like, it's mine now. Yeah, I'll take just it. Start scraping off the name. <laughs> and the right. year. Exactly. You're like, mm. hey, you got, a, you got a knife? Just start carving. That'd be great. Oh, uh, well. Thank you so much for doing this. Congrats. And I, I just, I look forward to the next time. And I just, more so than ever, I just, I can't wait to see what happens next for you. Thanks, Joy. I appreciate it, buddy. Oh, my pleasure. Thank Thanks. you. Bye, man. Bye.